Hi everyone, initially I was just uh, gonna show up and show you my temporary shower setup, but then it turned out to be a product review for the Big Kona shower. So stick around till the end of the video to see the pros and cons and uh, hopefully that helps somebody. Hi guys, I just wanted to do a quick video showing you my setup. I'm at my friend's property right now and this is temporary. We're staying here for the next who knows how long. Oh, we're building out uh, the truck here and today I decided to shower. It's been a couple of days. So I popped up this pop-up pod from Amazon and just uh, put some bungee cords unevenly. Which is fine, it works because the bottom. Put some screws on. I brought my generator, which is powering my big kahuna shower. And I just heated some water over here in our temporary little kitchen. I do have a heating element for the big kahuna, but it just takes forever. So I decided to heat up the water here on the gas stove. All right, I really like this big kahuna. It is DC powered. And it's got a pretty good stream. Okay, I'm wasting my water. I'm going to jump in the shower now. But I just wanted to show you guys my little shower setup. Hey guys, so I just got out of the shower. And when I was in there, I was thinking, why don't I just do a full-fledged product review of the Big Kona since I was talking about it before the shower. So I'm going to do that right now. All right, I apologize in advance. That bird is certainly coming back. There he is. So it's going to be loud, but... I'll just make this quick. I really like this shower for its convenience. It's pretty portable. This particular one is a 4.7 gallon version. It's very rugged. I don't foresee it breaking anytime soon or getting pierced or with holes or anything like that. I like this faucet holder, which the faucet conveniently snaps on and holds pretty snugly. I also like the integrated two side handles that are on the container but I do wish that they would have made a centralized carrying handle so that you have a really good grip instead of using both sides. You can use one hand as well. So that's a con. All right, on to another con. I wish this thing had a water gauge because when I was in the shower, I had to constantly wiggle this thing around to determine whether or not I still had water. I always have water running out anxiety. So I wish it had sort of like um, a meter. And oh, well, I'm just am now noticing how red my container got from my hair. Yikes. Anyway, I didn't want to open the lid because my shower has to be warm hot at the very least warm it really isn't a big deal but it'll be nice to have that feature and another con as i mentioned this is a dc powered shower so it's on right now what i don't like about this setup is as soon as you plug it in it's running i really wish there was some kind of switch like just provide the power and then turn a switch on to actually turn it on. I'll show you in a little bit how I circumvented this. Just wanted to show you how to use it. So there's a little button here that you press. And again, it's a pretty powerful stream of water. What I really like is the really long hose. I believe it's about 10 feet long. If I want to spray the kids, and mess with them while they're playing outside, I can do that because the inside of the van is not gonna get wet. Although this hose is long, it is still compact. And when you wrap it around, as you can see, it's coiled. It's not bulky, it contracts really well. So that's really cool. What I don't like is how you have to press a button and it's non-continuous, right? So you have to continue pressing it on. I wish there was a, again, a switch you can just turn on like a normal faucet. But hey, I'm not complaining. This was still a really nice shower. Another thing that I didn't like is that because the hose is so long, its reservoir is what, like 10 feet long of water just sitting in there. And so if you're taking a warm or hot shower when you're or not using water, it's going to get cold. And I don't know about you, but cold showers? No. I waited maybe a minute when I was washing with a washcloth. When I went to turn the water back on, it got gotten cold pretty quickly. So that's 
that's a bummer. So to be able to have a little bit of uh, better control of my switch, I went and picked up an adapter. That way I have better power control of my device. I have the off and on switch at my disposal and I don't have to go all the way to my generator to turn it back on or turn it off. I don't really want my generator close to the water when I'm showering. So I like this edit adapter, works like a charm. Okay, now it's plugged in. I can put it on next to my tent. So now I can just reach out and turn it off and on whenever I want to. I don't have to get out. Boom. All in all, I give the Bacona, I would say, an 8 out of 10 because of all these pros. And then cons are, you know, minor. I just appreciate having something durable made in the U.S. Um, that works. And for the record, my shipping took too long from the company directly because I purchased the heating element separately. The shower itself, I got it on Amazon. Shipping was fine. And then the company somehow forgot or their orders got messed up. I had to email them after three weeks of not receiving my product. So, hey, and I understand these things happen. It's not a huge deal. And probably now it's a, a lot better three years later. All in all, would I purchase this big Kahuna shower again? Absolutely. Just the way it is? Sure. Am I going to get the heating element? No. Hey, if you appreciate this review, please let me know in the comments. Also like the video and subscribe. Um, it takes me a bit of time to put these videos together and I am trying to put in as much work into my channel as possible, but I just have a lot on my plate. Let me know if you'd like to see more reviews and also I love your feedback. Good, bad, ugly. Just be kind about it. I appreciate you guys so much being here with me. Until next time, bye for now.